Sure. What is up guys, it's your favourite Scotsman Ryan here and recently I have been contemplating overhauling my editing slash gaming PC that you see in the background here as I really want to go ahead and change up the looks as well as add a little additional power to it. So if you haven't seen my original build I will leave all the videos linked down below but basically what we have is an X99 Sabertooth motherboard from ASUS an Intel i7-5820K processor, an ASUS Strix 980 Ti graphics card and 32GB of Corsair DDR4 RAM. So basically what I want to do is add some additional parts that I already have in house as well as get some advice from you guys. So with that said, let's jump in and look at the new parts that I will be including in the build. So first off we will be swapping the motherboard out for the MSI X99A Gaming Pro Carbon and this is packed with all the latest features including support for M.2 SSDs and of course RGB lighting just like everything else these days. The board itself looks absolutely stunning with its stealth black colour scheme and carbon accents and if you're interested in seeing the full review on this motherboard as I go into great detail on all the features etc I will leave that linked down below. So for the graphics card we are stepping things up and going for a GTX 1080 but not any 1080 we are going all in on the Zotac Amp Extreme Edition. So the Extreme Edition cards from Zotac are the top of the line and offer substantial overclocks on the GPU and memory straight out of the box as well as offering better cooling which Zotac call Ice Storm. So just to give you an idea, in OC mode we have a base clock of 1771 MHz and a boost clock of 1911 MHz with the usual 2560 CUDA cores and 8GB of GDDR5X memory. With Zotac opting to go down the colourful route with the backplate, it is likely that we will have to install a custom one just to keep the system colour coordinated. And just like every other gaming product these days, Zotac has also included RGB lighting. So I'm definitely looking forward to testing out the AMP Extreme from Zotac and I will also be doing a full review on it so definitely stay tuned to the channel for that. So for the RAM we are going to stick with 32GB of DDR4 RAM but we are going to spice things up and go for Corsair's New Vengeance LED RAM. So they do offer this in a few different colours but I opted for the white variant and what we have is 4 sticks clocked at 3200MHz so we know it's definitely going to get the job done while looking awesome in this system. So I am definitely digging this new LED RAM from Corsair and as I mentioned it does come in a few colours so you can go ahead and colour coordinate it to your system. Cooling wise we will be sticking with the Corsair H100i version 2 as this is one of the coolers that I have used in nearly every single PC that I have built to date. So for anyone who hasn't used one of Corsair's AIO coolers then it's definitely a great option if you are looking to improve temps, overclock your CPU or even just make your system look a little better. They arrive with all the fittings you will need for pretty much all sockets and boards and fitting could not be easier. You simply screw a few fans into the radiator, attach the correct CPU fitments for your socket and motherboard that are all clearly documented, fit the radiator in the case and screw it down, attach the CPU block that already has the CPU paste applied, then use the thumb screws to secure it down. It does sound like a lot of steps but Corsair does include pretty clean instructions and honestly fitting this is super easy and I have found that even fitting some aftermarket coolers can be even more difficult than using this. So if you're looking to go ahead and up your game then this is definitely worth checking out. So for storage I will be keeping the same configuration but adding the Samsung 950 Pro M.2 to the mix for the OS just to speed things up significantly. Ok so as you can probably tell I have missed two important factors out of any PC build and that is of course the CPU and the case. So CPU wise I'm not 100% sure whether I would like to stick with the 6 core 5820K or make the jump to the 8 core 6900K which is a little bit pricey at the moment but I'm feeling that I may sway that way. So let me know what you guys think if I should stick with the 5820K or make the jump to the 6900K, let me know down below. So case wise, one thing that I did know is that I wanted a tempered glass case, but there are so many awesome cases on the market at the minute that it is making the decision pretty hard. I had narrowed it down to maybe three cases, but then Corsair went ahead and released their new tempered glass cases, which made things again a little bit difficult. 
So what I want to do is get you guys involved and let me know down below or send me a tweet on Twitter on what case you think I should get. Just make sure that it is tempered glass and that it comes in white. That is the only two issues that we need to overcome. So let me know down below or on Twitter what case you think I should get. So that pretty much rounds up the video guys. I'm definitely looking forward to putting this build together and upgrading my current PC. If you like the parts let me know or if you think there is any changes I should make also let me know down below. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe, be kind to each other and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. Thanks for